Iba na ang buhay ngayon. Parang walang kasiguraduhan. Pero tuloy lang kahit nahihirapan. Hindi ka nag-iisa dahil may mapaghuhugutan ka ng lakas. May makakapitan anumang pagsubok ang dumaan. May tuloy-tuloy na magmamalasakit. Proprotekta. At magbibigay pag-asa para tuloy-tuloy ang magandang bukas. Tuloy-tuloy ang buhay. Tuloy-tuloy ang pagmamahal. Magkapit-kapit Pinoy, magsama-sama. Kapit Pinoy, walang hindi makakaya. Haharapin, magkakapit kama. Ayan, guys. Hello, hello. Good good afternoon here in London. You can, of course, good evening, Jan, sa Philippines. It's another Sunday here in COVID Warriors Corner. Let's talk with Ella Hidalgo. And before anything else, guys, um, shout out, of course, my family to um in San Fernando, La Union, my dad, Leon Hidalgo, my brothers and sister, my sister in South Korea, of course, and uh, my nieces and nephews. And shout out din sa COVID Warriors Corner admins. We have Rodel Saikon, Randy Silverio, a.k.a. Joker Diva. We have Kathleen Alberto, Chef Micaela Atay. Ayan. So I hope, guys, um, that you'll enjoy the talk this afternoon. And I would like to, uh, as usual, kakantahan ko po kayo bago tayo magumpisa ng ating interview and um, kwentuhan. So hope you're going to enjoy this song, guys. I hope you can hear my music this time. <laughs> It's 
last Sunday for uh, Miss Maita Martin and Kuya Bamboy of the Philippines. And shout out, um, actually I have a friend watching right now. It's Christopher jo Josh Noel Callis. Um, thanks for joining us this afternoon. And also guys, it's we are celebrating our second year anniversary here in COVID Warriors Corner. So we'll be having our, again, we have our show guys. Um, it's going to be in Clayton Crown Hotel in London. In on the 2nd of April, so we're celebrating our second year anniversary with our guest, of course, Waikopa, um, international singer and multi awardee, um, Mervic Monicilio. We have our um, first runner up singing Sensation Season 2, Lady Mercury. We have our champion, Danica Pascual, and um, Sarah Almi, second um, runner up. Nakalim um ano yun, hindi na ilagay yung picture ng bata but we have also our 11 year old um performer from the Philippines um Pia Kaduyak and of course um our Mrs. Euro Asia the charity Queen Charity of UK Daisy Esguera so sila pa magpa-perform sa atin guys on the 2nd of April and also we're selling our raffle tickets it's actually um 2 pound per strip for raising funds for our future um initiatives and of course projects um as you all know guys uh, we started our um lockdown original song composition on our first year of the pandemic we have our singing sensation na naging successful so there we had season one and season two this is um a competition to help out displaced singers in the philippines and around the world and of course um, meron tayong hopefully magkaroon tayo ng season 3 and um, as you all know we've also helped out the frontliners not only here in the Philippines not only here in the UK but also in the Philippines through the collaboration of course nagpa-feeding program po natin tayo through the collaboration of Miss Lovely Rivero ayan and of course meron tayo ano pa yung mga nagawa natin um, previously two years um in two years time we actually helped out the flood victims the typhoon victims from 2020 to 2021 and so please do help us guys to raise more funds so that we could help out back in the philippines because um sabi nga nila diba um we do charity for love and meron tayong mga charitable guests this afternoon that we will talk about of course why they choose to give love to give um to, to do charity works um to help out other people and ayan, nanano din si Joker Diva, of course, um, watching from Charing Cross Hospital. See you later. And um, ayan, guys. So please, please do, don't, do, do, do follow us here in um, COVID Warriors Corner. We have um YouTube channel, COVID Warriors Corner. We have uh, actually, um, we are today, guys, we are live in my um, YouTube channel, LA Dalga TV and, and Session live so this is a session um i would shout out sa, of course uh, i can see um there's a lot of people watching here in session yes we have um pia agatha 
We have uh, my sister Dayang Hidalgo Kim in South Korea watching. We have Ruthie Etmar. Love Q um, from Northeast England, Sunderland. I don't know, maybe um, she's a friend of uh, one of our guests. And, and of course, um, we have me, Avrico Garcia, joined us in session. And of course, dito sa, sa Facebook, uh, we're live in Kobe Wars Corner page. Um, and of course, in my um, timeline. And please do share this link because we will be talking about charity. Is charity really um, giving love? Kasi na- I also love doing charity. And um, there was one time I was questioned, bakit ko daw um ano yun, parang ina-encourage ko daw yung ibang tao na maging tamad by giving them by giving them giving them help rather than um doing you know do um rather than working for themselves to help out themselves as well diba parang we we need to help them out to fish daw rather than binibigay lahat so we'll talk about it and of course our first um, guest, ladies and gentlemen, guys, I'm so honored to have him in here. He's actually an actor in the Philippines and a director, um, TV film director in the Philippines. We've seen him in a lot of um, movies and television films and shows in the Philippines. Let's welcome, guys, on the stream, Mr. Louis Villaruz. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon, Louis. London. Good afternoon, Miss Ella. Thank you for having me here. Yes. Um, I hope all is well and everybody's staying safe uh, today. And hi, this is Louis Villarus. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa sa yung oras, um, Louis. And of course, um, sa mga sa mga nananood ngayon, um, please le- uh, tell us, um, what do you do in the Philippines and where where are you based? You're not only an actor, right? You're also a director and a businessman. Yes, Ella. Uh, right now, I'm an actor. I'm I'm part of Darna as a guest. And then uh, my core is a production company. I own a um, subject story pictures where I am the director and producer. And then we rent out cameras and film equipment. But basically what I direct is our adverts, documentaries, and music videos. And then the film, oh. hopefully soon. Uh-oh. Hopefully soon. But <laughs> mostly adverts. Uh, we did Miss Universe when it was here. Me, we did stuff from for Meet Johnson and other multinational companies. So more on advertising. But I wish soon that we could um, produce and direct films. And right now I stopped, not really stopped. I kind of lay, lay, lay low for uh, six months because we built a bed and breakfast in Shargao, Philippines, Shargao Island there. Wow, and of course, um, how how did you um, you know, in how were you involved in um tell in in movies and television? Paano ka naging actor sa Philippines? Um, nag audition ka ba or na discover ka? I start we I started back in nineteen ninety seven, and Carlos Agassi and Rico Yan are the guys who introduced me to ABS CBN. Mm-hmm. But uh, before that, I um, I was a commercial model. I think um. I was part of uh, more than 15 or 20 commercials, like fast food, soft drinks. Of course, I can't mention, but, and then I, there was an audition in ABS-CBN. And during that time, back in the days and during the 90s, medyo mahiyain pa yung mga tao nun to be an actor. So, Uh-oh. isa ako dun sa mga makakapal yung mukha. And because I really want to be an actor and that's my my course. And then I studied it. So, I, we went to ABS and, and did audition, Awa ng Diyos, um, we got in, and then that's how it started. Now I'm here, still doing it for the past 20, 27 years. So that, you know, I started two years old po. May joke lang. Oh, <laughs> Ay, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> One year old pala. Four months old. Four months ah, pero old. para nasa chan ka pa lang. Umaarte ka na. <laughs> Ay, ba? Ba? I'm 44 oh. years old, by the way, yeah. Uh, hindi tayo nagkakalayuan ng edad. <laughs> parang, parang malapit na rin ako dyan sa 44 na yan. <laughs> parang naubusan ako bigla ng hangin. <laughs> but anyway, and about directing, um, paano ka nagkaroon ng interest sa um, directing um, 
like you said, like you, you you've directed advertisements and such things. So, paano ka nika ng um interest on that? Yes, basically, as we speak, we we have produced around sixty to eighty videos, adverts, and and both adverts, music videos, and events. Ah, uh, kaya ako nika interest because while being an actor, uh, I've been curious or even even when i was still starting i'm i'm really curious on on as to how a movie or a picture or an ad or an event is being put together so the interest has been there when i was really young and then of course um, our culture filipino um nakakayang sabihin so i just had to keep it to myself because uh we are family of medyo what you call it? How do I say this? Um, strict family. Na, you know, you have mm. to be a doctor. Oh, you have oh. to be like this. Alam mo naman ang traditional Alam, Filipino yung, family. Oh, oh. Ganyan diba? naman eh, diba? Parang kailangan mo maging nurse para maka-abroad yes. ka or doctor, diba? Ayaw nila yes. pag sinabi mo, gusto mong maging painter, gusto mong maging actor, ayaw yes. nila ng ganun. Dahil wala so, daw pera doon. Yes, and then, that's because my father is a doctor, so... Sabi niya kung hindi ka magdo-doctor or whatever or a lawyer, pasensyahan tayo. But deep inside me, I really wanted to be in this industry and what I'm doing right now. So I left home. I left home and then I called my friend, oh, may extra couch ka ba dyan? So yun, natulog ako doon uh, only to prove myself. And then one day, nanonood yung tatay ko ng TV, magkasama kami, nung, nung okay na kami, sabi niya, kamukha mo yun. And then, sabi ko, oh, ako yun. <laughs> and then, tuloy-tuloy na. Tapos, nag-transition na ako into directing and producing. I went to London, I think, 2001. And then, I took a crash course in London Film Academy in Fulham Broadway. Yun. Wow. So, parang you, you, uh, you actually followed your heart talaga. Yes. Yun ang importante, diba? Mm-mm. It's painful. <laughs> Always painful and hard to follow your heart. It is, especially. Sabi mo nga, especially um, where where do we have this Filipino culture nga, di ba? That um, yes. I think ganito, kasi iba kasi dito sa sa abroad eh. You you have to really follow your heart. Di sa Pilipinas yes. naman iba. Kailangan kumita ka, kailangan um yung talo yes. mo um magsuccess ka ganon. Pero we, I, I think they do. do. Yeah. So I think it's it's better for us to like um di naman bal- balance lang di ba like mind and yes. um the heart yeah ayun kung but we need to follow what makes us happy talaga Exactly mm-hmm. kaya nga Ella these days um whenever I get to have the chance to to share or have a talk to the younger ones I always tell them to follow your heart but and mm-hmm. but um there's it will be challenging it will be painful but it will definitely be it is going to be worth it. So I I, I tell them na kung susundin mo yung puso mo, kaya mo ba? Siguraduhin mong kaya mo yung uppercut, all the punches. But, man, I'm, I'm telling you, you'll be fine, you'll be fulfilled. you live a happy life. Wala din yes. namang masama dun sa normal na susunod tayo sa parents natin. But mm-hmm. again, whatever that is, especially to the kids from the UK who are watching us now and the Filipinos, Whatever is in your heart, follow it. And if ever we fail, which I failed so many times, it just leads to another thing that, you know, it will lead you to to your destiny. Ika nga. Yun. Yeah, tama yung tama yung sinabi mo. And, I, and hopefully may mga nanonood din sa atin ng mga parents out there, di ba? <laughs> yes. <laughs> mga, I mean, it's so good to have this mo, you know, tradition and culture, pero we just have to like, you know, Minsan kailangan din natin baguhin kung ano man. Yes. Oo, so, I think may mga Hello, may mga tita, wag po in silang <laughs> puta mga bata. Ah, hayaan niyo po sila. Bigyan so, lang natin sa gusto po nila. Magtiwala lang tayo sa proseso at sa puso ng mga bata. That's true, that's true, yeah. And of course, um you mentioned you have a business in Shargao. So, um can you tell us more about your business in there? Okay, so basically, Ella my greatest vice is just coffee. So whatever I earn from production as a director and a producer and as an actor, um, if I buy coffee, that's like two pounds per cup here in the Philippines or it could be one pound because I'm Koripot. Uh, <laughs> one pound lang yun. So I saved um, um, 
my money and then I invested it to my uh, dream project, which is a bed and breakfast in Chargao. And then I bought the lot. Good thing I was early in the days when I bought it because it was still very cheap during the day. Not very cheap, but, you know, it's cheaper. And then the next problem was, the next challenge was uh, the, the finances for building the villas and the cabanas and the cafe. So, sige, shooting pa din, taping. So, my co-artists and co-actors would even tease me during the shoot na, oh, si Louie, hindi na naman kakain sa labas yan or kasama sa atin kasi pinag-iipunan niya yung resort niya. Yes, so, part two, present, you know, I was able to build it last year during COVID. Um, it was um, it was a little bit smooth, you know, because it was my first time. Tinutukan ko talaga, nag-foreman ako doon and project manager. But could that happen? So mm-hmm. what do we do? Yon, and I think the the entire Shargao got wiped out. 98 percent of the island, you know, it's it's devastated. Dead, typhoon, yeah. Typhoon Rai, Typhoon Rai, yeah. or that in the Philippines, Rai internationally. And then my resort got hit really bad. I think eighty percent or seventy percent of my property, my dream project was hit. So I hope there are families who are watching it, uh, watching us right now and the kids. So what do I do? Instead of um, instead of crying, even though I cry 10 buckets of, Oo, of tears, wala nang mangyayari, wala nang mangyayari. Oo. So what we did, um, I counted my blessings, kahit papano, we still have food, I still have a shelter here in Manila, thank you Lord. So I came up with Bangon Siargao, a fundraising event for 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 the locals of Siargao. And then I called up Rico Blanco. Uh, Rico Blanco just sent me a message out of the blue to check on me, brother, how's your resort? And then mm-hmm. Marcos Segura of the Razorheads. And then parang may bumulong lang. My, my cousin was there. Sabi niya, why don't you come up with a fundraising it's event fundraising. and then use the money to help others? Ayun. Um, we were able to mount for free. Everyone for free. Ah. Rico Blanco. Uh, Marcus Adoro, Razorhead, Silent Sanctuary, mm, Mon- Monologue, and then um, Eloisa and other artists. So, madami talaga. And then in one night, I think we were able to raise uh, 400,000 pesos in two hours. That's a lot of money, yeah. That's a lot of money and it really helped out for sure yung, yung, ano yun, yung island ninyo, yung sa Siargao, yung mga tao doon. Yes start again, di ba? Mm-hmm. Siargao and Palawan kasi sila yung pinakatinamaan. Um, hindi lang na-advertise but but Palawan was really hit bad as well. So what we did with the money is I, we, we came up with a transparency report kung saan napunta mm-hmm. down to last down to the last centavo down, down, down to the last peso and then we came up with a um, short term kasi yun yung mga immediate needs ng mga locals and then I came up with a mid-term to long-term solutions. Like we put up a clean water drinking station in Shargao na everybody could, could get water there for free for the next six to eight months. And then after six to eight months, they get they will pay but subsidized na. And then all the profits will go to the people in need pa din. And then all of these are properly accounted for naman and then locals Uh-oh. yung pinaghahawa ko nung, nung, nung fund. So we were able to help 110 families as of now and then as we speak mm-hmm. tomorrow, uh, I'm going to purchase fishing nets and fishing lines and paints kasi in Palawan, that's what they need. Mm-hmm. Uh, ako kasi, oh, kasi I'm not yung... yung mga bangka kasi nila. Kasi yun yung nabubuhay nila, di ba? Yes, sa Palawan. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For they love you. And I'm okay with bigas and sardinas and canned goods, but but marami nang nagbibigay nun. So uh-uh, let's think of another thing na mas long term ng konti to help them. Mm-mm. So yun, yung fishing lines with, we were coordinating with um, Palawan State University with thank you Miss uh, Eva if she's watching. Yun. Tatapusin lang namin this week. So, meron kami around 40,000, 50,000 pesos madami ng fishing lines na matutulungan nila. Kababalo natin. Mm-hmm. 
Because for so, us yep. in COVID Wars Corner, we actually help out naman um, somewhere in Bohol. Kasi uh, may, may nag-ask din sa amin na, I mean, she she used to be our um, contestant sa Sing Sensation. So we helped her out as well. So sa, we raised fun and then we sent back to the community in Bohol. So I mean, mm-hmm. even though yeah, even though there's a lot of typhoons that's um being na, na tumatama sa Philippines, maganda sa Pilipinas is yung yung where we still help out each other, di ba? Kahit na walang mm-hmm. Oh, it's it's like we're we willing to help out Filipinos out there sa in times of crisis. And ayan, Louis nagrereklamo yung mga <laughs> mga nanonood sa session. Pansinin daw natin yung nasa session. So, Hello. ayan. So shout out sa mga nasa session of course. Um and si Pia Agatha. Hi Pia Agatha. Ayan, I have my sister Dayang Dayang Kim watching in South Korea. Dayang Kim, anyong sa iyo? Yeah, and, yung, and of course, we have Ruthie from Northeast England. Hi, Ruthie. Ayan, ayan. Na-shout out na natin sila. Ay, sabi sa, kasi sabi dito, pansin yun na, pansinin mo naman yung nasa session. Sabi sa akin. Ayan. Oh, ayan. So, so, oh, oh. so uh, it's like, um, we're doing, you're, um, you're doing charity, like you're, you're giving, you're raising funds for other pe- people. How about your own, um, di ba, of course, um, nasira din yung business mo. Um, how about your own business? How, what did you do to, to build it again or how, what are you going to do to build it again? Okay, currently, tinapos lang namin si Bangon Siargao. Um, when Bangon Siargao, we, we, when we finished it, sabi ko, sige, si Coleto naman. So we're doing our roofings. Actually, as we speak, meron na rin tayong mga bookings from the UK and Spain. Um Pero okay, yung instinct ko, inisip ko muna sila eh. Mm-hmm. Ibang tao kasi may pagkain naman dito pa, eh sila talaga wala eh. So, ayun, ngayon si Coleto, Colet, the name was, of our place is Coleto Shargao. If you can like and follow it on Facebook and I hope to all see you there, I will cook and host you and take wow. you around personally. Um, inaayos na yung bubong natin and then tomorrow, the cafe. So, hopefully by the end of the month, we're up. No, and then medyo malaking gastos. Good thing um Darna came in because I'm part of Darna. Thank you ABS-CBN. And then some directing and then producing projects. So awa ng Panginoon. Um bangon at saka laban lang. Ganun talaga eh, di ba? Oo, oo, oo. Laban lang tayo. Laban lang ulit. Life goes on yeah. talaga. At anong mangyari sa buhay natin, di ba? Yep. Ayan. So Bago na bago ko introduce yung second na guest natin which is kilala mo of course um one of your friends and um yes. anong would you like to um promote um your your project right now or your future projects Ah uh, sure thank you for that Ella uh to everybody who's watching right now I hope you all watch Darna May, medyo small lang naman yung yung a role natin dyan, but it's an honor to be part of Tarna. I, I will play um, um, a young scientist as their guest. And then, please visit Coleto Shargao. It's on Instagram and then on Facebook. I hope to host you there, mga kababayan. Let's do Boodle Fight. I'll take you around the island. And if ever I still have another gig or projects, I will let Ella know and I wish all to see you this July if I visit there. Kapi-kapi tayo. Kapi lang. Super saya ko na. Especially pa- whenever I see Filipinos abroad, I love it. I love, mm-hmm. I love hanging out with my kababayans abroad. Alam and ni Elijah yan. Yeah, and I'm sure um you'll be interested to um to visit the new Kapihan in here. Actually, um it's located somewhere in, oh my God, Chancery Butters- Lane. No, it's, uh-huh. it's a different one as well. It's ah, newly, one, yeah. newly, um, yeah, it's owned by a different um person. So, sa Chancery Lane at siya nakalukit. It's actually featured by COVID Warriors Corner by one of our hosts. Then, nasa nasa kwa na siya telephone booth. Oh, yes, nice. Ay, oh, oh. So, nice. Yun yung, yung yung bagong bagong um na pinupuntahan na rin ng mga Filipinos right now. So when you come here, yeah, punta tayo doon, pasyal pasyal tayo doon kay Joel. Yes. Ayan. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. oh, coffee lang, happy na tayo. <laughs> oh, and then Kapihan London and Jan din, they're Filipinos yeah, then. Yeah, just in Battersea. Yes. Said earlier, then, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Lahat ng kape ng Pilipino, tikman natin. Lahat ng kape ng Filipino sa London, tikman natin, please, with a nice pastry and conversation. That's true, yeah. And yun naman ang mahalaga, di ba, yung um, masaya na tayo kapag nangipag-usap tayo, nangipag-kwentuhan sa kapwa Pilipino natin, especially oh, oh. when you're away from home. Super. Mm-hmm. Super. Parang nakakatalis ng homesick and nakaka-proud. Especially, uh, shout out sa lahat ng nurses and OFWs natin. Kung meron akong totoong bayani at idol, sila yun. Sila. Yes. Because they're the ones who are doing a lot of fun in the Philippines. Buhay ang Pilipinas because of them. And then they've sacrificed so much for their family just to work and para iangat yung Pilipinas. So, saludo po. Mara- thank you. Thank you so much. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you so much, din, Louie. Um, babalik ka later on, of course, with our um second guest. So, babalik muna kita sa backstage and um, kausapin natin our next guest, of course. See you later. And of course, our next guest is based here in UK. Um, She's actually one of the candidates of the Mrs. Euro Asia, which is going to be held in July. So, let's welcome on the stream, guys, Miss Anna Malqueen. How are you? <laughs> Naka-mute ka. Hi, good afternoon, Ayan. UK. Good evening, Philippines. I'd like to greet the viewers right now. We're actually a session, YouTube, and of course, here in COVID Warriors Corner. Yes, hello, hello. Good afternoon to all of you. Um, Thank you, Miss Ella, for this um opportunity. Uh, Yeah, good afternoon. Good evening, Philippines. Ayan. So, um, how did you came to UK? How did you come to UK and... um? Through work permit ba or because no um, someone... so I I used to live in New York and then um during the peak of the virus it's quite um dangerous um I have two um girls panaman and then mm. um so my husband and I decided to just move to the UK because um hindi siya magandang environment nung um peak ng virus sobra yung crime and uh, yung mga napapanood nyo na um, violence nangyayari talaga sa New York. So, my sister is here naman in the UK and then that's when we decided that, that right, let's go. Um, it, it's time for us to um, to uh, move to the UK kasi nga, it's more ideal to raise um, a family. Mm-mm. Yeah. So, parang bago ka pa lang pala dito sa UK recently Mm-mm. na I moved last year. Um, mm. Yeah, so one year pa lang ako dito. <laughs> Newbie. So, so how did you find the life here in UK compared to um US? Eh, sobrang ano, relaxed. <laughs> so, <laughs> Very so, lead back ang mga tao dito. Especially in the countryside, di ba? Uh, sobrang warm ng mga mm. uh, tao dito. Uh, at saka I've noticed the lifestyle is very relaxed and um, family oriented talaga sila um, unlike in New York kasi parang rat race talaga eh. uh, so you just work 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 you pay the bills and that's it here you notice that after work you still have time to socialize mm-hmm. so mas anda yeah. so for me it's it's very ideal and then i feel safer for my daughters to um to go to the shops by them by themselves so, mas okay sa akin. So, do you think you're gonna stay here for good, here in UK? Um, at the moment, yes. Kasi, um, it, 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 it's, it's good for my children. Um, although, kasi they're um, born and raised in New York. And parang nag... <laughs> Sorry, my dog. <laughs> Parang nag, um, nagbabargain na sila sa akin na mami, like, um, I'm going back to New York when I go to, un- to, uni- to the university. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, uh, for now, I, I, um, I, I would um, stay in the UK. Yeah, pero sabi nila, um, was that Americans are more are, are friendlier than English people? You know, sabi. That that's what in, I've been your... here. That, uh, that's what yeah. I heard when I was in the states. No, they said that oh, um, British are very ano snobbish ganyan. Tapos um, medyo high hats daw ganyan. Pero no mm-hmm. nandito na ako. Parang hindi naman. Parang 
ang bait nila. Tapos especially ang Filipino communities dito, par, par, sobrang warm nila. Um, sobrang genuine. Mm-hmm. Um, they would really reach out to you. Um, if, especially when they found out na, oh, bago lang ako dito, ganyan. So, oh, let's have coffee together. So, um, yeah, mas, hindi, hindi, hindi to yung mga hearsay na, na snabero, mga taga England, mga no. UK. No, no. <laughs> But I mean, I think maybe it's I mean it's it's same in every every country, right? May mga isang pero may mga friendly. Oh, so, ganon, mm-hmm. ganon. Mm-hmm. Ayun, mag shout out mo na tayo. Yeah, mag shout out mo na tayo. Anna. Um, someone is watching from Earth Squad. I think this is Kuya Rodel. So it's happy birthday to beloved son Antonio Rafael. Oh, yung anak niya. Yes. Um, oh, he passed away birthday. like 70, 14 years ago. So I'll um shout out to Alana Saikon, Alina Rich Saikon, watching from Davao City. We have um Lida Saikon Navarro and Marla Navarro watching from Davao City. We have Aida Sarmiento watching from Davao. We have who's this? Um Ronilo Bacal so Saikon. Garat Saikon and family watching from Nabunturan, Davao de Oro. Um, sabi dito, haha, interesting UK versus USA. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think John Maldon is from USA. <laughs> Hi, John. You know, yeah, I, I've been to US. I've been to US. Um, 2014. Um, friendly naman sila. They're, they're so friendly. Yeah, they, they are. They are friendly. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't able to stay in New York for a long time because my auntie was rushing to go back to um Philadelphia that time. So parang two hours, three hours lang kami umikot sa New York. <laughs> hindi ko na-enjoy ang New York. Gusto kong bumalik doon. <laughs> and of course, we have Chinese Reason, Morgan watching from Canada. We have um, Jeffrey and family watching from Canada. And um, meron tayong Atsasye watching from Japan. Wow, very and international. Is Lee Tam watching from Scotland. And who's this? La- ano yan? Life? <laughs> Anna Luisi. Be, be, your life. be your life. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, ayan, shout out din tayo sa, sa session. Baka sabi nila, eh, Hindi natin pinapansin yung mga, ayan, Team Sakalam, andito sila lahat. Of course, um, hello, Bell, Japs. We have um, Sakalam T, 28, March 7, Love um, Quest. We have Bell, Japster, Crew, and la- lahat ng bumubuo ng Sakalam Team. Thank you for um joining us in here. Actually, in session live, ayan, we're, thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> And ayan, so tuloy natin yung kwentuhan natin. Um, why did you decide to join a beauty pageant here in UK, which is the Mrs. Eurasia? Have you been joining in the past sa Philippines? Um, only in, um, w- when I was in college. Yung mga Miss Campus, ganyan. And then, um, I was, um, I was going for, um, Miss, Miss, um, uh, th- they were looking for a candidate for each barangay in the gig during that time but i was in the heavy side so hindi hindi pumasa kasi diba they have their qualifications sa mga body body statistics nila ganyan so hindi ako pumasa so um i met julie our chairman here in lancaster and um she spoke to me about mrs philippines or asia and i think it is a good platform especially for women um who became um wives mothers because um we uh, women our body undergoes through so much especially after pregnancy we sometimes lose that confidence so um this um uh, mrs philippines Euro asia builds empowerment and confidence um para dun sa mga um mommy sa mga wives na nawala yung yung ano nila yung yung believe sa sa sarili nila as you know because sometimes when life hits you hard talagang alam mo yun even though you look so beautiful but deep inside you don't yung ganon don't feel so, like beautiful minsan di ba ganon <laughs> Oh, ganun. So, uh, ito, ito, um, itong your, Mrs. Your Asian na to, parang, they, 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 ano talaga eh, they, they rebuild that confidence that you lost along the way. And then, yun nga, you have all the women 
um, who are there to support you. They treat you as sisters. Mm -hmm. So that's why I am in this pageant because of that. Yeah. So I am at the shout out again. We have I'm sabi dito ni John Moldo. Um, I know he's from Richmond. Yeah, Richmond is a nice place here in London. Nakapunta ka na din sa Richmond um, Park nila. It's malaking malaha talaga. You can see deers. Yung mga, tapos sa Isabella Garden. When you come down to um, London, ay napasyal ka dun. It's oh, a oh, really good place. Oh, oh. Oh. Um, And we have I, many... Yeah, I, I will be in London on the... um uh, just, just for a few days to uh, meet up with... Shout out to Daniela Carter. <laughs> She's oh, our yeah. um, Mrs. Um, Quezon City. Um, so I'll, I'll be meeting her this month on oh. the uh, 26th. Mm -hmm. uh, That's yeah, nice. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll definitely go um, when I have the time. Definitely, yeah. Ms. Ella. 26th, I'm gonna be in Eastbourne because I'm celebrating my birthday there. Oh, <laughs> oh 26th. Ayan. And ayan, tuloy na rin. Shout out natin kay Nelly Magalona. Kambing watching from London. We have Jay Lige watching from London. And of course, sabi nga dito, happy to hear your audio is much better this time. Yes. Um, yeah, it's much better. Although I haven't um, found any sponsor to change my behavior. <laughs> Joke lang. But anyway, so ano yung ano yung um advocacy mo of um of joining this uh, this pageant? Di ba may meron kay mga kanya kanya mga advocacies and charity that you help out? Yes, yes. So um, ako talaga. I'm 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 really into helping others talaga. Eh. And um, like what you've said, nga like um. You know, um, charity is not just about. Um, it's it's not uh, personally. Charity is not just about um monetary giving or it, it, it's mm -hmm. it's it's not it's not about ma materialistic provision. You 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 do it out of love, and I totally agree with what you've said earlier. Um, like uh, so sa akin talaga, I I am. Also, um, in this pageantry, because I want to help out, you know, because um, I love me so much, so much gratitude yung nafi feel mo kapag nakatulong ka sa iba. Oh, oh. So I mean, it, you know, it uplifts you as well, di ba? Para ang yeah. saya saya pag you're you're helping out other people and you see them happy as well. Uh oh, oh, sobra sobra mm -hmm. talaga yung yung parang sobrang fulfilled mo. Na iba talaga yung pakiramdam pag nakakatulong ka talaga. <laughs> Kahit, so ano yung charity yung... na ginagawa mo right now? Well, um about um three weeks ago, uh mm -hmm. but, yeah, three weeks ago um kasi I grew up in um Bagong Bayan Tagig. And um, may nasunugan doon na um, 44 families uh, yung nasunugan. Um, so, para sa akin, parang iba yung mawalan ka ng bahay kaysa, kaysa sa mawalan ka ng pagkain. So, I reached out. And one of the um, victims was a, a childhood friend of mine. I, th I think she's watching um, right now. Um, her name is Lorena Galit. So, um I I was talking to her and I said um I I don't have much pero gusto ko makatulong. <laughs> so um yun I um sent uh, um nakipag-coordinate siya and then um we are sending out um groceries for those um 44 um families na nasunugan. Kahit you know, kahit konti lang at least may may napadala kang tulong. I mean, what matters most, di ba, yung, yung thought na, yung thought na tumulong ka, yun ang importante. Mm -mm. Oo, mm -hmm. yun, yun. I, 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 kasi, ano eh, um, eh, parang minsan, lalo na may kakilala ka na nawala ng bahay, hindi ka makatulog minsan. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Ay, it's parang heartbreaking. Mo, oo, iisipin mm -hmm. mo, kailangan ko ng pera eh, pero parang hindi ka makatulog eh, na, nagigilty ba? <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Minsan ka din eh, parang wala ko naitulog, paano niya parang nagigilty ako, parang gano'n, di ba? Oo, oh, 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 gano'n. Oh. So, kahit na hindi mo pansinin, may, may ano din eh, parang may voice na eto, eto, yung iba, iba talaga, 
So, mm-hmm. yun, for me, um, charity is really showing love to others. Yeah, that's great. And of course, sabi dito sa session, hi Miss Anna, sabi from Latte Cafe Franco. Ayan. Um Cafe hello. Franco used to have um a cafe business as well in the Philippines. Ayan. Hello. Oo. Oh, oh. So ayan, um meron kang kanta para sa amin, right? Bago natin ibalik si Louie. <laughs> Kasi si Louie sabi yan, hindi daw siya singer. So ayan, sabi mo ka, Louie, mag-do it kayo. <laughs> Ayaw niya. <laughs> hindi daw talaga siya singer. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan. So, let's hear it guys from Anna Malqueen uh, while she's preparing her audio or her oh, own song di, di, sabi ko kay Miss Ella Miss Ella hindi talaga ako prepared pero okay lang niya <laughs> parang oh, di ba <laughs> hindi prepared eh <laughs> Ayan. sabi yeah. dito ni Latte Franco is interesting topic bless your good hearts Um, of course Miss Ella Anna more power to you and your oh. project salute to you sabi. thank and you then, Ayan, so, thank you tayo, po. women from the Philippines, teeth so white. <laughs> ano ba? Women from the Philippines, our teeth are so white daw. <laughs> thank you, John. Well, you are ano using a very ko? special um toothpaste, that's why. Oh, meron. Ano, one quid lang siya sa Poundland. Ano yun? Arm and Hammer. <laughs> Ayan, yung may ginagamit mo. Yung may baking soda. <laughs> promote, nag-promote. Kaya nga eh. Anyway, ayan, pakinggan na natin guys ang kanta ni um, Animal Queen. Yay! <laughs> um, so, I'm not really a singer, but um, I'm doing this for Miss Ella. Stuff. Thank you for more stuff. And there's some really great stuff out there. <laughs> okay. Any of us will look better. <laughs> <What? laughs> <laughs> 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 yes, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yes. Ayan. 
Ayan, thank you so much, um, Anna, for that wonderful song. Ayan, pinagbigyan ako ni Anna. O, di ba? Sabi thank dito, um, sabi ni Christopher is very good. Ay, thank And John you. Malden said, Mall 2. Oh my God. What's up, Mall 2? What's Mall 2? I don't know. Sabi dito, Mall Queen and Mall Don. Mall Don! Mall Don! That's true. <laughs> ayan. And we have watching from, ayan, na no, no, no. May sa YouTube naman yan. Si Kuya Rodel. Eh, ayan, ibalik natin of course si Mr. Louis Villarouz. Yes. Ayan. So I have like um common questions to ask just to get to know both of you. Ayan. Naka, naka-mute ka ata, uh, Louis. You're mute. Ayan. <laughs> ayan, first and, and foremost, anong masasabi ninyo sa comment na um you're doing charity, you're giving people... um yun nga, nagbibigay tayo sa mga tao, sabi nila, you're not helping them talaga. Kasi nga, parang minsan, tinutulungan lang daw natin silang maging tamad. How, what, what can you say about that? Who goes, who goes, who, who will answer first? Anna. Yeah, ladies first. <laughs> well, um, for, for those people who perceive it that way, na, okay, like, oh, but nila ginagawa yan, they're really not helping others. Pero we're helping ourselves. Alam mo yun, yung we we know how to be thankful because we are not in that situation. So that's how yeah. we view it. And di ba, kahit you naman know? magbigay, ang importante, like, um, I mean, we, we give money, monetary help, it's up to them na kung anong gagawin nila doon sa pera. Mm-mm, mm-mm, so, mm-mm. Kung, kung gagamit, kung ginagawit man tayo or they're not using the money in the right um right way, Problema na nila yun. Hindi Problema na, na nila yun. Oo. At least we have Uh-oh. this heart of helping out, di ba? Yun ang importante. Yeah. And of yeah. course, um, Louie, what can you say about that? Well, actually, we're not en- enabling them or or teaching them to be lazy. But the the fact is, some people are just caught in a bad situation and unfortunate at times. No, they're just in need. They're just mm-hmm. in need, and, and then it happens to all of us. If if we help them continuously, and then they don't de- help the, themselves, that's a different story. But if it's an emergency and they really need it, like uh, a typhoon, a devastation, or any acts of God, I think it's our duty as human beings to help our our kababayans and other humans. You know? And yeah. that's why we're here as well on earth to to share, to help others, to inspire, to teach. Yeah. Right? Yeah, tama, tama. Mm-hmm. Maybe, we're um, not here for the longest time. Mm-hmm. This is just a stopover, right? So let's make it worthwhile and mm-hmm. pay it forward mm-hmm. as much as we can. But again, we won't enable, we're not enablers. Tutulungan lang po natin yung talagang kailangan, kailangan po talaga yeah, ng tulong. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Hindi niya, mm-hmm. hindi tayo tutulong sa mga gagamitin sa pangtalpak or <laughs> <laughs> Kasi di ba meron yung during during the pandemic, di ba, yung mga tulong na binibigay uh-huh. sa kanila. May mga naririnig kami dito na hindi pala nila ginag parang winawaldas nila pinambibili nila mga mobile phones, okay? which is not really yes. uh-huh. necessary, di ba, during pandemic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why we when when we if we help or whenever we would like to help, we should always strategize then and think of ways as to how to help others in a very strategic way. Na, na if we think that their characters could be a little big, uh, a little bit uh, vulnerable and mm-hmm. and weak because of the situation, isip na tayo ng paraan para hindi hindi sila magir towards that kind of. Um, um, temptation and I think it's our duty to do that like like what we've said you know long term instead of money we can ask them what do you need what what do you need for uh, what do you need the money for what do you need to buy we can buy it for you we can buy it for you pero pag sinagot pa rin sa atin ay hindi pera po talaga kailangan namin alam na this you can uh-huh. your man <laughs> tama <laughs> alam na if, if you need um, a roof yero Bibilang kita. Ang uh, pagkailangan mo ng buhangi, ng hollow blocks, ako na bibili, walang problema. If you need tuition, uh, tuition for your child, 
anong number nung nung school I'll pay for it mm-hmm. pero ay hindi Direct, Mars huh? kailangan ko talaga ng cash alam na Iba this na. Oh. or oh. Eh, no, nothing wrong with cash naman and kung sasabihin niya naman he, he or she needs sa cash for business okay lang walang problema yun yung doon na siguro yung pumapasok na oh ito kami na tumulong it's up to you kung paano man siya gagamitin but yeah as much as possible para maiwasan natin yun, we can ask and communicate properly. Diba? Because um, there's two kinds of helping. Yung isa, concern trolling, kung tawagin, or concern helping, pero hindi naman, yung, yung concern, but hindi talaga compassionate. Diba pero kung, kung 100% na nandyan yung puso natin to lift them up, we will be involved, di ba? Uy, ano, paano? Ano pang gagawin natin? Ano pang kailangan to lift you up and your family and then your community game? Di ba? Kesa yung binigay lang natin and then sasabihin na, oh. tumulong ko nito. Yun. Mm, so, yeah. yeah. Ayun, tama-tama yan. And of course, my, ito, nandito ako sa ano yan yung getting to know or you um, question. So, what's your biggest failure and what did you learn from that experience? Kasi normal na question is what's your um, greatest experience or whatever. But dito naman yung biggest failure mo. Um, what did you learn from that experience? Ana? Um, my biggest failure? Parang bumalik lang tayo kay Louie kanina eh. Not following my heart. <laughs> Kasi if if I followed my heart, um, although I am very much thankful for all I've been through, Mm-mm. you know, um, I, I wouldn't be in this position if, you know, if I didn't go through all of that. Pero, um, like um, I said, um, kasi, um, I, I followed my parents. <laughs> I think we all, we all did <laughs> naman. Kasi rin ako. Takot sa mga magulang. Ate rin ako. Gusto ko maging, maging um, kumuha ng fine arts before my mom said, ay, walang pera dyan. Tingnan oh. mo yung tito mo. Hanggang oh, ngayon, wala ganun. pang nagpuna na ipundar and things like that. So, diba? so maging designer eh. Sabi nila mag-teacher. Kasi mag-teacher na lang ako. Mag-nurse na lang ako. So, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I view it as a failure, but at the same time, I don't really view it as a failure naman. Ganyan. Alam mo yun? <laughs> so, yun. And about you, Louie? Greatest, greatest uh, failure and lesson, We've, mm-hmm. uh, I fail every day. I think, um, ano ba? Uh, sa sobrang dami, hindi ko na maalala eh. I think, if, I, I'll just, try to to answer it in a generic or general manner na there will always be a, while we're still alive while we are alive failure is our friend and it will always be at our side and i think the the, the lesson there is you should not lose hope and you should not um stop fighting and then and, and, and pursuing whatever you love doing or you believe in. And yeah, for as long as we're healthy, diba? And Uh-oh. kung hindi yeah. pa sinasabi ni God na game over, push! Push, diba? And then the other meaning of push is pray until something happens, diba? Mm-hmm. But we cannot just sit down and eat a sandwich and hope that things will be great. We have to really, really work our way to whatever that thing that, you know, that we'll have to work our way to, to the thing that we love and we dream of. So I think we have to be obsessed with uh, failure and get used to it. And when we're used to it, parang, ah, alam ko na kung fail And then we learn from the lesson and you know, as, for as long as we learn and we learn and we learn, gumagaling ka lang eh. Failure mm-hmm. makes us a great person and great yeah. businessman in our careers as a person, whether it's um a relationship, let's say, failed relationship, dito ako nagkamali do, dito ako nagkamali, sa next, alam ko na to. Make it better na the next time. Yeah. So, yeah. And it makes, you, and it yun, makes eh. you stronger, di ba? To face, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm-mm. kakambalan That's ng tao yun eh. and especially as an entrepreneur 
yung yung buhay namin is it's like jumping on a airplane and then on your way down that's the time that's the only time you create the parachute diba so but again sinasabi ko nga sa kids and and to everyone who's watching us right now dapat tanggap mo na nakasali lagi yung failure kasi pag hindi ka nag-fail sa life na to saya-saya ng buhay yo tapos masyadong diretso kasali yun eh but hindi naman piloso po na way ng failure na itataya mo lahat i mean there's a thin line between stupidity and being an idiot and and mm-hmm. and taking risks diba we 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 have um, a thing that we call calculated risk so calculate the risk but again there's still no crystal ball and 100% assurance that it's going to work but the question is is it worth it the are you are you willing to risk it and then for for something greater that you love or dito ka lang sa play safe both are great diba yung like what you said ana being a nurse Um, kasi ito yung gusto ng parents mo. Those are okay kung, kung, kung happy ka. But, but kung deep inside you, it, it, it's only you who can tell na hindi, meron pa eh. Ikaw lang mm. talaga makakaalam yan at makakasagot at ang Panginoon mo. It's only, in, it's only you and your God who can tell you if you can do it or not. So never ever listen to the noise. It's just you. Like the, the, the Shargao yes, no. thing, if I may share, um, mm. Ella, It's a very expensive property now, but before they were all laughing at me. He's like, "Louis, mad. Louis, crazy. Because why would he buy a property in Shargao? It's too far. Two airplanes, three airplanes to get there. But I see something there, and then they think I'm not vision. crazy. Yes, mm-hmm. and then now they would say, "Oh, great job." We're supposed to be great job, Dati. Sabi mo, baliw ako. <laughs> Kaya you know, nga. So I'm just I mean, telling, whatever that is that you have in in your heart and in your, in your mind, you pursue it. Because mm-hmm. one of these days, I'm sure, nangyari na sa ating lahat yon, Ella and Anna, na nanonood ka. Hoy, naisip ko yun dati. Ako nakaisip nun na. Oh, true, true. Yeah, yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. But ginawa niya. So, yun lang. So, until mm-hmm. we're still in our primes, let's kill it, let's do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I remember my mom. Uh, my when when she was still alive, the same story as you. Because um, minsan sinasabihan siya, but kabumili ng lote don. Because um, she bought a lot in in San Juan, which is mm-hmm. wala pa talaga mga businesses before. And yes. look at now, San Juan La Union is booming, di ba? Para yes. sa Boracay of the North. Yes. So, mm-hmm. so yun lang yun. It's only you and your God. And your homework, of course, you have to do your homework kung tama ba yung forecast mo. Wala namang 100%. There's no, again, there's no crystal ball Uh-oh. that would tell you that this would work. Because if there was one, eh di sana tong buong mundo to ang boring. Lahat, lahat nandun na. Lahat walang, ano mo yun, parang, parang magkakapantay. Ganun yun eh. May kanilang yung timing ang success eh. Right? And it, I think it's in the attempt. So going back to answer your question, greatest failure i fail every day you know we fail every day so i think we have to 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 be obsessed with failure but we have to be more obsessed on getting back up and solving when we fail yeah yeah Ayan. Thank you so much. And of course, meron tayong dito from Chippy Zoe. Thank you, um, Anna Malquin, for helping us. We are fire victims. Uh-huh. Um, Thanks for Anna sharing for the blessings. Yes. Thank you. You've done a great job on that. And of course, sabi nga dito is Anna Malquin, are, um, she truly really have a big heart. And John Maldon said, I sent box to the Philippines. And wow, it's ano, <laughs> mga, mga comment niya. <laughs> three months. Yeah, it took three months talaga. It, it takes three months to reach the Philippines when you send box. Yeah. Ayan, matagal eh. Matagal, <laughs> matagal talaga. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oo. Oh. Anyway. Pakan, pakandong mo yung box sa uuwi galing. Ayan. <laughs> Mas mabilis. Ayan. Yeah. And if, ito yung second question is, if you could be remembered for one thing, what would it be? Okay, Anna. Uh, bakit ako lagi? Ikaw dapat yung... Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies first daw eh. <laughs> Ladies choice. <laughs> mm. um, if I could be remembered, good deed. 
kasi alam, dapat hindi masama. <laughs> yeah, like um ako kasi gusto ko talaga to be remembered na may na may natouch ako na tao. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so um whether um, emotionally or ano man, physically ganyan o ano ako ano man na I have inspired them in a way na napaganda yung buhay nila. So, yun sana. And for sure, kasi nga, diba, sabi nga dito, you have a, like a comment that you've got a big heart. Doon ka, ma- ka talaga ma-remember having a big heart. Ayan. Mm. And thank you. And of course, Louie, um, what do you want to be remembered? Well, bas- thank you for that question. Basically, I'd like to be remembered for, for like what Anna said, the, the good deeds, and I hope I've inspired um, others to pursue whatever they they love to do and whatever knowledge that I have. I hope they would remember that I've shared it to them and and they would pay it forward as well. So yeah, yeah like parang yeah. domino effect ma ibang tao. Ganyan. Yeah. That's true. Ayan. And um, what would you change um, about yourself if you could? Meron ba kayong gustong baguhin sa sarili ninyo if you've given a chance to change anything? Mm, wala. 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 Siguro ano na lang. Um, to be better, like, you know, as, as, as days go by, you know, learn from your mistakes, like what Louis said, you know, every you know, you, you you fail every day. You just have to get back and then, you know, move on because you know failure is very constant. So, yun lang. Learn from your mistakes, then be better. No. Yeah. And any any wise words from Mr. Louis Villarus <laughs> regarding this ah. question? <laughs> so you yeah, the. the... What, sorry, the question was... What how would you, you change about I, if yourself I, if you could? Well, um, there are two answers. Number one, um, I nothing because I wouldn't be myself right now if if weren't if it weren't for all the mistakes that I've I've committed and all the, the chances that I took whether it was successful or not, that's number one. Number two, uh, if I were, if I, if I would be very, very brutally honest to myself, I'd love to be, to be more loving, to be more kind, to be, to be, con- to be more conscious about it, to be more compassionate, and, and to give, to give whatever I can to, to others. It, because as humans, we are we are born selfish, no? And yan yan eh, because then your instinct natin eh. So it's always a struggle and then, then a, a challenge to be kind and to help others. So yun, every day I, I wish I would improve when it comes to that. And and to tell hopefully in the near future to tell inspiring to commit on telling and producing the film that I want with regards to telling and, spi- and inspiring my co-Filipinos in the Philippines and abroad about their stories, to share that, those stories. Sana mo fast track on. Okay? And all the Tuna. best on that. And hopefully Thank we can you. be a part of that movie. Kami ni Ana. Oh, yeah. Ang yeah. <laughs> 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 extra. Ang <laughs> extra sa movie. <laughs> Yes. And of course, my last question is: How do you see yourself in five years' time, Anna? Five years' time. I don't know what I'm saying. I see myself in a um, better place. Um, uh, more likely, I, I, I was by that time. Um, I, I was able to inspire a lot of people. Um, love more, <laughs> like um, I know. Um, right now, I'm 
since I'm new here in the UK, I'm still trying to adjust. And in five years' time, I, I'll be more stable. Um, but at the same time, I will still be that um, animal queen who is approachable, uh, friendly, and so wala, wala siguro magbabago in terms of attitude um, just be a better person ganyan ganun lang and maybe career wise lang I'm going to change but nothing um, emotionally ano naman siguro yun lang medyo career lang siguro ang mag change ayan thank you and of course um, Louis Villarus of course, you'll be um, directing a lot of films now, di ba? Sana. Oh, my God, I time. Hope, huh? yeah. Thank you, Ella, for Ella, this. No? That. <laughs> oh, gusto ko maging... I want to tell stories like Dino Broca, Ishmael Bernal, anything that has to do with the Filipino culture and and for the next generation to learn more about our culture and to love it mm. more dearly. Yon, I think that's my goal. And of course, sana mas stable na si our bed and breakfast when it comes to career and work. Of course, lastly, because I'm single right now, not single. No, oh, hint, hint. Right. <laughs> single diba? din ako, ganun yung char. <laughs> Oo, oh, diba? Char, diba? parang char. Char, what? Oo nga, pag sinasabi ko lagi yun, ganun yung sagot eh. Sa so, sobrang oh, tingin yung eh. iba na hindi, totoo, I end up with none. Kasi lahat, alam ko, wee, wee, wee. Tapos pag hindi dito, Kaya naman talaga. <laughs> But, <laughs> Kailan nga. Parang, parang nakak- minsan nga, di ba, nakaka- nakaka-pressured na rin. Kasi every time I go to an uh, event or every time may mga topic kami, sa interview nga eh, ang last, ang last na tanong sa akin about love life. Sabi ko, akala ko hindi na sisingit yan. <laughs> Siningit pa rin. <laughs> Oo nga eh. I mean, it would be great. It would be great na may meron kang partner, di ba, tayo. Ella, meron tayong uwian. Hey, ganun. But the right one, of course, of the right course, one. Yeah. The right one. The the best and right. I mean, the the best for us, no? Because we're not perfect. Eh. The the best for us, hopefully. But while we're not man, we can get the Beatles, as the Beatles would say, we'll get by with a little help of some friends. Yes. Diba? Yes. Let's just keep ourselves yeah. busy. <laughs> Maybe God's mission to us is towards others, muna, de ba? Mm. To, to serve. Uh, John, let's just trust and have faith. John, yun lang yeah. naman. That's how I see yeah. myself uh, five years. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Sir Louis Villarus. <laughs> Need daw nila ng semento. Ay, ah, si Ana po ang, ang ating sponsor sa, <laughs> sa semento. Sponsor sa semento. <laughs> wow. Ako lang po yung nag-organize at nag-deliver at nag-print at nag-send ng resibo. <laughs> <laughs> I, but anyway guys thank you so much for your time and um do you want to promote anything again and of course um unahin natin um ana do you have any um want anything you want, want to promote and and a social media kung saan ka nila gusto i-follow please mention oh, yes, your so um i would like to invite you on july 30th for the mrs philippines Euro asia um coronation night in lancaster grand theater um also um we uh, well all the candidates are selling raffle tickets for their um charities. If you uh, would like to get in touch, po, I have my Facebook account, Animal Queen, that's M-U-L Queen. And I also have my Instagram, F-E-L, E-F-F-Y, E-L-L-E. You can get in touch with me po, um, on my social media. And um, yeah, so... Just send me a message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Yun. Chaka, thank you all for watching and for all the support. Ayan, thank you so much. And before anything else, um, Louis meron dito sa session. Um, shout out daw sa yo from Cafe Franco. Hi, Cafe Franco. They will definitely visit pag nandiyan. Espresso at yeah. kwentuhan tayo. Mm-mm. Ayan. So, um, you want to promote again, um, Louis, and of course, um, any social media, in case they want to follow you. Yes, please follow me, Louis Villaruz, on Instagram, L U I V I L L A R U Z, and on Facebook. Po, usually I post, uh, things that are inspiring and, and about work. And please watch Darna. 
and then what else po? And please follow then Coleto Shargao, C-O-L-E-T-O. And I hope to host you there soon. And mabuhay po ulit ang lahat ng mga Pilipino at kababayan natin sa buong mundo na, na iniwan yung mga pamilya nila para mabuhay at magkaroon ng magandang buhay yung yung family nila and kababayan natin. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Kapitayo yeah. sweet. Yes. Thank you so much, Lewen. I hope we we can meet up to you. I mean, we can meet you there in the Philippines pag uwi namin. Yes! <laughs> and I'm going home with one of Let the hosts, si Joker Diva, and of course, my sister from South Korea. So we'll be there in Manila. And we actually, I actually told Jeff, yeah, to meet up then. Yeah, and so hope to see yes. you there. And of course, ito sa London, gala-gala tayo, kasama si Sis Anna, of course. Oh. Yeah, so ako lang ang katapat natin. Wait, Ruby, I'm, I'm gonna wait for you, ha? Kasi treat oh, for naman. Me. July, July, let's let's do it. Yeah. Kaka-apply ko lang ng passport ko ulit, eh, kasi nata- nawala yung passport ko, eh. May nagtapon. Wow. Ah, ganun. Ayaw kang papuntahin dito. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, eh. Kaya mo yan, nag-apply tayo ulit. So, Ayan. yun. Ayan. Anyway, um, see you, see you soon, guys, and stay safe. God bless everyone, and of course, maraming maraming salamat sa oras niyan for sharing, of course, those um wise words and your experiences. Na uh, I hope na maraming natutunan yung mga nanood sa atin ngayong araw na to. So maraming maraming salamat and God bless. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Thank you, Thank you Bye. Bye. Ayan, guys. So we've done our um talk this afternoon, and of course. Nakatawa si John Malden. It's like um he's he's actually like um commenting in here here in UK. Um thanks guys. Thank you John Malden and I've learned that mal is an Irish word that means servant. <laughs> so sabi niya sa akin um um as that um Anna Mal Queen is a servant queen, di ba? Cuz cuz uh, she served like um in a good way like she helped out other people. Ayan, so once again guys, uh, sa lahat po ng mga nasa London, to so everyone who's in London, UK right now, please do support our COVID Wars Corner second anniversary. Um this is going to be at Clayton Crown Hotel on the 2nd of April. It starts at 7 p.m. at night but door opens at 6 p.m. So may mga entertainers po tayo who will entertain us that, to, that night. And meron kaming raffle tickets as well. It's two pound per strip if you could help out and support us so that we could help out other um Filipinos Filipinos out there who are in need. And um, God bless you too, um, John Malden. And I'm going to sing my um my parting song, of course. And please do follow me here in... um. Facebook and uh, in my YouTube channel it's Ella Hidalgo TV my session Ella Hidalgo 59 so lahat ng mga nanood sa session live of course maraming maraming salamat sa inyo Cafe Franco thank you so much for dropping by um we have my sister I have my sister Dayang Hidalgo Kim Pia Agatha thanks for the hearts and um Sakalam Sakalam March 7 Live Quest um told me night hello thank you for dropping and Eros has joined our chat thank you guys um see you again next Sunday with my special guest of course um from session we have um Ron Antonio and um from Kumusta Kabayan Kuya Albert ayan so this is my song to everyone guys I hope you're gonna like it let's continue our journey in, in life
magbigay ng hearts dito sa session. Take this one. 